hello, it's Sarah. And it's time for my second Mindful Souls unboxing. Um, this is a monthly subscription box, and I started my subscription in January, so it's going to work out kind of cool having, you know, 12 for the year. And I think I'm only going to do it for one year. That being said, I don't know. Right now, um, I enjoy getting them like you look forward to it there's a lot that appeal it's $36 it's not breaking the bank um, but what I really want out of it is um, the gems I want the rocks uh, I'm kind of starting to collect I did just get the crystal Bible um, I ordered it on Amazon I can put a link in the description box and I've been reading that today um, just about how crystals form in the earth um, it also talks about the energy because they are um, they are made from atoms and and the energy that atoms have and all that stuff. So, I mean, you, I don't tend to necessarily believe in it, right? But I'm open to it. I'm very open-minded, mindful souls, right? I don't know. Um, my journey in Al-Anon. <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me, and developing a higher power of my choosing has been a real spiritual awakening for me, and I'm just kind of drawn to anything, really, any type of uh, uh, anything that I can use to enhance my spiritual presence on the earth. Um, I just want to be more compassionate, more, more human, um, being humble, all that good stuff. So, um, that's what interested me to begin with, and um, so I'm, and I love collecting things. So I kind of look. I shared this in my my haul from Home Goods, but this is um, an amethyst quartz piece. So um, I'm not going to go out and buy a bunch of uh, gems right now. I'm just going to learn about them, and I'm going to because in the past I've gone out and just like go crazy, like I get obsessed, right? Anyway, so I've already opened. I opened the thing. But, um, like, from the last one, you get a little thing that tells you, let's see, it usually has a quote. No, 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 wait, I had a, an affirmation for creativity. How, you know, ironic was that? Not ironic, quinky dink. My unique and creative talents and abilities flow through me. So I love that. I also got a sticker, which I haven't used yet. It's just the Mindful Souls sticker. This is their um, logo. Um, so you get all the information about the thing. So it's a very nice box. I mean, I like it. The quality is pretty good. It's just that I don't need all the stuff. That's what I'm kind of finding. Like, this necklace, it's okay. Like, I don't know that I would wear it. Maybe I would put it, I don't know. It's just, this one doesn't really appeal to me. Maybe another one would, you know, so we'll see. And then I got this, um, I think this was called White Turquoise and Lava Stone. So you can put your um, essential oils on the Lava Stone, which I actually, I wear my Howlite bracelet because it's supposed to be for patience. And it matches my eye watch. So I got this at the crystal store in the mall. It has a little lotus flower on it, which I love the story of the lotus flower too, you guys. That's a very cool um, analogy about how the lotus flower grows in the muck, in the mud. And it still comes out and it's a beautiful flower. So anyway, all right, let's see what's in here. This was from last time. Um, so like, yeah, I'm not really using the dream catcher. I mean, it's a keychain. It's right here. I just have it hanging by my desk. Um, but I could put it upstairs. Um, the rose quartz pointer I love, and it's upstairs. Um, like I said, the bracelet I'm not really wearing at the moment, but I like. And it's actually white turquoise, so I didn't realize that. Um, I could just wear it with this. Just double up. I mean, they look very similar, and that's why I got the Crystal Bible, because I just, I, I need to have a little more knowledge before I go out there and, um, anyway. All right, so let's, let's see what I got. Let's see what's in here this time, all right? So here we go. All right. Mindful Souls, it says, optimism is a happiness magnet. If you stay positive, good things and good people will be drawn to you. That's by Mary Lou Retton said that. Little um, gymnast Mary Lou Retton. Well, she's not little anymore. But anyway, I like that. That's a good, I am very, I'm an optimist. I like to focus on the good. Just leave the rest. Um, anyway. Oh, wow. Ooh. 
So I got two necklaces in here, a bracelet, another essential oil, a red agate, and some socks. Oh, I got a sticker. Keep calm, no drama. Oh, and these are little yoga, a little meditating llama. So see, I love the stickers. Like I just, I've been on their website and I just wanted to buy the stickers. Like I wanna buy all the stickers. Um, <laughs> all right, oh, here's the socks. Well, they're just little footy socks, but if they have mandalas on them, I did just get a mandala blanket, like a little, um, I don't know, they're very popular right now. They're like really fluffy. They have like a lamb's wool or something. Anyway, so um, this is cute. I mean, I don't hate mandalas because speaking of which, this is on my desk. I just did this. I might have shared this in my Hobby Lobby haul, but it's like a little tray. And then I burned it and painted it. So I love mandalas. Can't go wrong. Why not? I mean, I don't know if they'll fit me or if, you know, whatever. But like maybe you just put them in your yoga bag and after class, you can throw them on, keep your feet warm. Oh, here's the affirmation card. Affirmation for forgiveness. Forgiving makes me feel light and free. It does, because you know what? It's not for the other person. It's for you, because if you carry around resentments because you are stewing over something that you feel someone's done to you and they you know probably have or it could be our own perception of it forgiving them is going to help you feel lighter it's exactly true um, so that's a good one forgiveness I like that um, I'll, here's the essential oil fragrant essential oil and I think I told you last time it doesn't really have a brand. Like I, I think the other ones over there, it wasn't really, uh, it's called Rain Song. It, it wasn't really, really fragrant either, but I had, I just put some of my Eden's Garden on this bracelet today. So actually I'm smelling that really strongly. <clears throat> it is called, oh, not this one. Says, the other one was rosemary, and I do love rosemary. This says, Rain Song Essential Oil. It's a mix of lotus flowers. This type of floral essential oil is highly spiritual. See? I mean, if it says it is, I'm not gullible, you guys. Like, I don't just believe it, but I can act as if. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I can just act as if, and you get that kind of vibe. Anyway, I don't know. Let's see, lotus flowers. Given the symbol that the lotus plays in ancient Hindu and Buddhist practices, the lotus flower has come to epitomize spiritual reflection, meditation, and tranquility. Tranquility. When an individual inhales scent from lotus essential oil, the body is almost always compelled to take a deep breath. Oh, I can't wait to smell it. I don't know that I've ever smelled this. This facilitates in producing a calming and relaxing experience. In fact, it is considered as a natural tonic that improve overall body function. Okay, here we go. And it says Macy on it, air revitalizer, fragrant essential oil. Um, exquisite fragrance from France, quality, high class, beautiful fragrance. Yeah, come on. Anywho, all right, here we go. Let me smell it. I don't even know if I was in the shot. It smells pretty good. It does kind of have a floral scent, if you know what I mean. Like, I tend to be, I tend to like nutty, earthy flavors better. Floral can sometimes be really, um, really kind of like, they get me too much, but, oh, I got it on me. I like it, though. I'm just going to grab a tissue. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not horrible. Maybe I'll do it in my um, atomizer or whatever you call it. Um, it's good. I don't have that, so that's good. Um, but again, I have a few um, essential oils, and I don't, I, I have been, when I'm in the craft room, because it's right over there on my little accent table, I've been trying to turn it on. Ooh, this feels like a stone, so this is going to be the Red Agate Circle Crystal. Now, what I do know about crystals is 
agates come in a lot of different colors so that's probably why and I like this I like the feel of it and it's big but this basically grew in the earth you guys that's what I'm finding so if I go into my little Bible here I just because I know agate is a it's the first one I think there's a lot of different ones there's blue lace agate see here's the agate um, it's clear or milky white, gray, blue, green, pink, brown, often artificially colored. Oh, see, I don't like that. It's waxy and soft, usually banded, sometimes translucent with small crystals. Um, it's common. And it's often sold in artificially colored slices that have no, oopsie, no additional therapeutic properties. So I would read about it. It stabilizes the aura. I think this is one for your um, the, uh, your root chakra. Anyway, it says in ancient times, forces of the four elements were considered of some some of the most powerful elements. Oops. And agate is justifiably linked to the earth element. Agates are universal balancing stones of suitable energy of subtle energies they offer protection and are especially suitable for protection of children whenever needed they can help you increase your courage as well as your creativity well that is good to know i'm not going to read the whole thing but it is cool and so this is what i'm looking forward to getting is more different types of stones and this is a polished one obviously it has some inclusions which i like so I like rough stones um, that show a little something going on because it's a mineral and evidently when it grows out of the earth, it takes on the other things that are around it. Quartz does. Anyway, so, all right, I'm just going to set it down. I'm babbling. Ooh, this is a bracelet. Protective tiger's eye. So another protection one. Ooh. And it's a bigger, um, I tend to go for an 8 millimeter bead, and this looks like it's at least a 12. Oh, and I love that they're stretchy. This is pretty. See, this is pretty. I like that. This is what I look forward to. Ow, Kiwi. Is like more of things I can wear or, you know, and it doesn't have like fake metal on it. Like that's probably this gold. It. I don't really like when they... Um, put the um I love the little elephant and stuff see so I have to just get over it and stop because it's it's fine like I don't know you know and that's two-tone and whatever but I like it I'm, I'm gonna like it this one I like a lot the tiger's eye um it's known to give you courage self-confidence and strength of will it shifts your outlook so you can gain a deeper understanding of yourself that's awesome I like that. Yeah, happy with that. So score, score. Um, ooh, wrapped raw clear quartz necklace. Love that. Let's see. All right. See, now this appeals to me more. Having this um, fiber, like a, a, a rope, you know, it's not a rope, it's kind of like a satin string, cord, it's cording, right? Oh, look, and it has, you can shorten it or lengthen it, so it has a little adjustability to it. I like this. It's a hunk, too. I've been wearing this quartz, this clear quartz on my, on a silver chain, and I doubt this is silver, but this is just, um, I don't know. I got it at the crystal store in the mall. And so this is, what's this called? Raw. Clear quartz is a rock star among crystals. There's no better crystal for manifesting realities, programming intentions, or amplifying energies. So it's a universal healer, and it links to all the chakras to provide balance and harmony. So balance again. I like that. Balance is important. That's why I got my yin-yang. Uh, and this, I mean, I don't know if it's been treated, I, I want to say, it looks like it has some type of a, I don't know, it could be just the natural, but I see how it has that shine to it, but I like that. See, I think I would wear that, maybe not all day, but like just to, to, to lunch or something as a statement piece, right? I do think I would wear that. 
And then this is the last, ooh, this is gonna be the blue agate slice necklace. Nice. Ooh, now see, I like this, the beaded part, and this is fabric. Ooh, this is like all knotted and stuff. Ooh, I like this. It looks like, yeah, it looks like it's knotted. And again, I would say the stone looks treated. Like it looks like it's been enhanced, you know, as a jewelry item. And I feel like I would like it better if it was just natural. So let's see what this says. Need an emotional lift? Love is the medicine to heal the world. And this crystal can help us return to our natural state of joy. Blue agate, so I got this and this, or both agate. So this is why I gotta figure out this whole thing about, um, now I wonder if, well it's blue lace agate, right? Blue agate slice, I don't know. Anyway, um, <clears throat> they're linked with the heart chakra, and it helps us heal by opening up our energy channels to unconditional love for soothing the pain and confusion that comes with the human condition. <laughs> Agate <clears throat> can help you if you find yourself in a situation where you find it difficult to forgive someone for the cause, pain, despair, or bitterness in some complicated love or family relationship. The stone can help you find the necessary courage to forgive and forget. Wear Agate if you fell feel yourself restrained under pressure or confined in your current obligations that is cool so yeah I, I would wear this like i'm wearing blue today blue and black actually um yeah i like this a lot i think i would wear it i i wish it wasn't like colored on the edge like i kind of like how you know i mean even though it looks dirty or whatever like i don't know maybe it's like because <clears throat> this part looks sparkly in there and stuff I think I just prefer the raw stone rather than them coloring it, but that's probably why they do that, so that, that it doesn't look dirty or anything. But like, see, here's a little orange. There's like a little orange in there. I don't know, it, it just, it kind of feels fake when they do that. So I'm not sure. Although I do know that you can change the color of these quartz stones with heat and cold. So I know that if you heat them up and cool, actually I've been seeing on YouTube um, videos that talk about like making your own crystals and stuff like that. So um, I don't know. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm just learning about these things. So I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm just gonna give it a chance. Um, so I like this box. I have two affirmation cards so far, two stickers. Oh, here's a, this is my necklace from last time. So I have three necklaces, two bracelets, two essential oils, and a pair of socks. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I did want to mention, so yeah, the Crystal Bible, I just got this from Amazon. And I heard about it from the Crystal Store in the mall that I got, um... The, this little necklace and all that um I got some anyway it was on back order there but this has a lot of good information I can put a link I did order it on Amazon and it says $21.99 I don't remember if that's what I paid but man there's a lot of information in here so i um, gonna enjoy looking through this as well um, and then I wanted to mention to this chakra book that I have this is called the Book of Chakra Healing, and it has paint on it because, of course, you know, that's what I do. But I, I've enjoyed this as well. It talks about our aura, which is the energy that, and it talks about crystals and um, what the chakra are, how they relate to, um, how keeping them in alignment can be beneficial for us, for, you know. So it's, it's ancient type stuff that, I'm like I said I'm open to it I just like it talks about aromatherapy reflexology here's the different so each chakra so the crown chakra talks about the different um, crystals that can work for you um, the exercises that you can do to open up that specific chakra um, and aromatherapy the scents, all that good stuff so um, it's just a it's cute I like it 
I've learned a lot from it and it's uh it's good all right so anyway that's it you guys um, and like I said, I am not pushing this on anybody. I just enjoy getting stuff and sharing it with you guys. Um, and so next month, you can expect me to do another Mindful Souls unboxing. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.